1977. Check them out online, shelbyheating.com. All right, I got a fun little, Tom, you asked about a betting stat here, but this is one that's not what you're asking, but it's kind of a random fun bet thing. States, that's you know, <coughs> in America, they have the highest chance of a group of five football team being the best team in the state. All right, you ready? You understand what I mean? What I mean by saying that? You talking about in, in any division? Yes. It, so in the this is st- states in America who have who have a group of five team that has a chance to be the best team in the state. So for example, North Carolina is on this with Appalachia. Yeah. Okay. That's what. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Tennessee. They've got Memphis could be the best football team in the state of Tennessee, Terry. Two SEC schools in your state and Memphis. The Memphis Tigers could be better. These these are bet nods too, y'all. West Virginia. Marshall <laughs> with the best team. Marshall might team. be better. Wyoming. Of course, Wyoming football. Then I've got three extremely well two extremely surprising and one it and and all three of the two all three are embarrassing for this to even to be new york ub football who's that i I can't click on the link who is ub buffalo i guess yeah it'd be it is it'd be buffalo the best football team in the state of new york they consistently decent. Now, you ready for year. the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my life, maybe? California and Florida are on this list. Where would they go in far central Florida? Yes. Hmm. Well, think about that. Terry, if I told you this and what, just name a year with a 19 in front of it, that in 2022, the best team in Florida will, will be a group of five team. Now, North Carolina. You can see maybe with, you know, the Tar Heels, the Deacons, the, you know, these teams haven't won too much. But Florida has Florida State, Miami, yeah. the Florida Gators. And we're sitting here Not after as all these years. Those teams don't even, just, they don't even exist now. I mean, uh, South Florida probably could, could be, would be up over with every one of them. How, embar- how crazy and embarrassing is that for those schools and teams to be in that spot where they're at? You know who else on the list? California. Fresno State could be the top rated team in California. UCLA. USC. Stanford. Fresno State. Fresno State is not going to be best. Southern California is yeah, going to be the best right. team in the state of California. Yeah. Just, I'm just telling you, just right now, wise and all, right just now give it a year you two. can bet on this. Then they right get a couple of studs from in Oklahoma Vegas. to transfer oh, out yeah. there. <laughs> and didn't uh there was one guy i know a coach was mad because another kid transferred out the uh the pit coach i think they got a kid to transfer from Pitt to southern california if i'm i can't remember the details well of the I, i'm gonna be honest tom this that gum transfer porter's all messed up no it's, it's not terry. It, it's messed up in every i think so I don't think Terry. How much money? How much term. money? How much money does Dabo Sweeney? Make? No, I don't, and that ain't what how I'm much saying. money does Lincoln Riley? Oh, make? I'm with you, but I'm just saying, coaching wise, I think you're gonna end up with a so, lot of coaching, but or you're gonna end up with okay. loaded teams. Yeah, so it's okay for Lincoln Riley to leave like a thief in the night, but some linebacker not getting playing time at Ohio State transfers to Pitt, and we're gonna say, oh, this isn't fair. This is fair to these poor multi-million dollar coaches out there. It's not fair to little Nikki Saban. Little Nikki Saban might lose a player. Poor little Nikki. Let's all say a prayer for him. Bow your heads and pray. Give me a, <laughs> well, give, me a give me a break. <laughs> give me a break with these arrogant, pompous jerks who are going to tell an 18-year-old kid from the inner city who's trying to make it to feed his family that little Nicky's going to get upset because he's not committed to little Nicky. He's not his little, ooh, he's not my little servant. He he has a mind of his own. He wants to go somewhere he can play. So all these coach Dabo, old Crabbo down there crying about this, with your $10 million a year, give me a break with these coaches, Terry. Going to criticize these kids for the transfer poll. Yeah, portal. but this past week, Dab, no. I mean, Saban was criticized for only kind of a kid that's coming there 
from another school. He's going to do the same thing. Yeah, he, you know, Saban criticized this. You committed to this university. But he, now he's going to do the same thing. Took the guy from Ohio State, didn't he? Took the guy from Ohio State, which was his best wide receiver. Might have been, all, but I thought it was somebody else. I cannot remember. All these guys, all these guys, all these, guy, all these anybody crying about it. I don't want to hear none of you crying. Then work, then work for uh, the governor. I think South. it's harder in football to establish an elite team, but basketball, how do you it's could go be from easier. nothing yeah. easy? Yeah, yeah. The, the gov- movie, the movie Blue Chips, will be from here going forward. Will be the basis of how teams should operate, right? Yeah. It should be. If y'all remember that movie? Nick yep. Nolte and yep. Shaq yep. and Rusty yep. Larue and the gang. Um, I, back I just, when Shaq was skinny, right? When, but. <sighs> The football thing, Terry, I think the Lincoln Riley situation, here's I think that is going to be that right there is setting is going to set off something. Whether or not he's successful, I don't know, as far as winning games, right? He could be the Mac Brown of of whatever. You know, I've got all the players where but but think about this. This is why Dabo and, and Nick's chirpy. They ain't got as much money in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Clemson, North South Carolina as some of these others. That's do. right. So they used to compete, hey, we're all going to pay the same under the table. We'll get you locked in and play football here. And then you're locked in Alabama no matter what. So you have to play here. You, in three years, if you're good, you'll get to play here in Alabama. And go on, whatever. So they keep you in-house. So if you're good, they've got you in play. If they're bad, they end up cutting you and stuff and take your scholarships away. Now with the availability of the backup quarterbacks or the backup defensive end or whatever saying, you guys, I don't think you guys are being in fair shape. This isn't how it worked out. The coach is, the coach is really a jerk. I don't even like being – why am I in Tuscaloosa, and he, Alabama? And he lied to me. Right. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then someone in and then someone in L.A. goes, well, you can come to L.A. You can come to Miami. You can come to Florida and live on the beach. Start, play every game, play ever, however you want. Throw the ball if you're a quarterback. The quarterback's moving around, I think, is going to be a lot because they've got to find play in time. And they want to play. Um, but, but the guys, again – the Nikki, the, the ones in these small town football towns, or that the Clemsons and Tuscaloosas, I'm not sure going forward that they're going to be able. You know, let's say it's not going to happen this year, the next year, five years. If this, if everything stays the same, I'm you'll see people like Dabo and Nick jumping over to. They might jump over to it. Like they're going to get Riley, in on it. Lincoln they're Riley left Oklahoma, and a winning program. For a struggling USC for money and LA and fame and fortune, I would say that that some of these schools are going to end up doing the same thing. These LA, these yeah, these Florida schools, are going to pay yeah, Saban's not going to do it. He's close to seventy. I could see Dabo Sweeney doing it though. I can see Lincoln Riley doing what he did because he knows once he gets out there, their people going to come. They're, he's going to build. Them oh right yeah, they'll be back. But again, to, to Terry, he he, uh, he could he not be the Mac Brown? I mean, it doesn't just because you put somebody out there don't mean they're going to win. Oklahoma's going to be. For the most part, they're not good no matter who's coaching. Most of the time. See, most but the, time. Southern, the worst they're going to have yeah. is seven wins, right? Yeah. South yeah. Carolina. They've got a I ton mean, of Southern play. California's <laughs> a brand. Chapel Hill is yeah. not in football. It's not a brand. It's not a football brand. Everybody knows that. No, so, what uh, I'm saying is that Mac Brown had all the talent in the world at Texas. He got his one. But I'm saying yeah. as soon as he goes somewhere else, you can have that talent there. You can have those people there. But if you can't coach them, you can't make them win. I, it, I'm not saying Lincoln Riley's not going to have. He's going to make a lot of money. But what I'm saying is that there's going to be team, there's going to be coaches that the Nick Saves of the world, the, the Dabo. I think Dabo might end up. He might go pro because of it first, and then mm-hmm. come back to USC. Or he's. Not, I don't. I don't know if he'll jump straight Terry from like Clemson to Miami or something like that. But seriously, somebody like a school like Miami can come in. They get the right donors and stuff. They could. They could turn. The, they, they could be right back to where they were. It, whenever in the 80s and in early 90s, and it's going to happen to somebody quick. That's why I keep thinking state. They need to do something while they can. Uh, State's gonna be good, y'all. With the State's money, with decent. the money down in Raleigh, they 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 they, they got really a good quarterback, to. Leary. It's gonna mm-hmm. help. It's gonna help their program yeah. getting that guy drafted sixth overall too. Oh I yeah, think that's and I, that's what I keep telling people: mm-hmm. you this coming year, you'll hear Leary's name mentioned quite well, often. State's had a number one overall pick before. Yeah, that defensive Mario lineman, Williams. Mario Williams. Is he still right, playing? Yeah. Um, no. I don't think so. That was 15 years ago. Yeah. Well, has it been that long? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Get ready to say, how long has it been? Yeah. Maybe 20. Yeah. yeah. Get ready you know, to say, he's yeah. an elite guy. It all, it's used to... it all blends yeah. together. All right, all right. Yeah. we got to do, do NBA. Uh, 